What are we doing in here? It's time. It's the time best time for... of the year. Second Fall. best time for the Fall? year. Fall? Christmas, of course, is the best time of the year. We're back here in the dungeon <laughs> with all of Brittany's pillows. We're back in my pillow layer. <gasps> <gasps> Can you go take that to the living room? I have to sort through all of these pillows to figure out which which one. See, I have options. Which, which ones, ones do I want to bring out for the fall? Out of how many, like 50 pillows? 50, yeah. This one can go back on our bed. Mm -hmm. You put that one out there too? Thank you, Harlow. See, this is why you have children. Oh, I need this one. Oh, you need both of those. Hang on, Harlow. It's a huge Tower. You just stack them so whenever you pull a pillow out, they just go down and then you can reload. And then it's the next and season. And then, yeah, see, I have a system, kind of. Hey guys, so it is officially this time of year. Okay. I have been looking forward to this day since the last fall. So basically what I'm saying is since last year's fall, I was looking forward to decorating for fall this year. For me, putting up my fall decorations is so hard. I'm surprised that I could fit everything into here. I feel like I need more. I need and more fall only decorations. One. Of course, I have all of my pillows and I have other fall decorations here and there, but for the majority yeah. of them, they're in this box right here. So I have had this rug, the same rug for five, six years now. And it's still, ooh, I just realized I might need to wash it. But it, this is still one of my favorite, I haven't gotten any fall rugs since this one. It looks like it's still in really good shape too. It's in pretty good shape. Also, I'm very surprised that I can fit all of my fall decorations in this one box. Maybe that means more. that I need more. Oh, did you just say that? I think you need some more. Did you just say I needed more? Oh, Frank's okay with it as long as it's not pillow. Uh, yeah, so you guys, the pillow thing, it takes up a lot of space. The pillow thing? Yeah, your pillow addiction. Okay, so we we just get some more decorations. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and decorate a little bit differently I because I can't buy decorations or new all new decorations every single no, year. Well, yeah, I'm gonna use this stuff. Is what, what I'm saying is I what I like to do is I like to decorate a little bit differently than I did last year, if that makes sense. So. I can't even really remember what I did last year, but we're gonna switch things up and decorate just a little bit differently to keep it interesting. Um, I do have to do some cleaning in this video, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys are avid More With Moros viewers, then you already know that our obsession with air fryers is so real. We just got the Me Home air fryer and it's definitely our favorite one now. We love cooking with air fryers in general because it's healthier cooking, especially when we recently made breakfast for dinner. If you guys haven't tried bacon in the air fryer, definitely try it. It is delicious. It's our favorite and we put it in the air fryer because we can still enjoy bacon, but now with less oil and it's low fat. So what's different about the Mi Smart Air Fryer is that you can completely control it from the Mi Home app. We actually already had the app because we use it for our Dream D9 vacuum that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. So we're able to connect the air fryer to it as well. It was so easy to connect and you can control it from your device and access over a hundred easy to cook recipes. I use my Apple device with it, but it's also compatible with Google Assistant and for Amazon Alexa. Alexa. Some other amazing features is that it has wide temperature range for multi functional cooking. You can schedule meals up to 24 hours in advance and despite its compact size, it has 3.5 liter large capacity and the drawer is completely removable and has a non-stick coating so it makes it for really easy cleanups. Like I mentioned before, it has a wide temperature but you can also use it for defrosting and baking with it as well. If you guys are looking for an air fryer and wanna check this one out, I'll leave some links in the description for you guys. I love using this and especially for so many different recipes. It just makes everything so convenient, a lot healthier as well. So again, if you guys wanna check them out, I will leave all that information in the description for you. 
All right guys, so in addition to sharing you guys or sharing with you guys our new air fryer that we love to use for so many different recipes, I wanna share with you guys a fall soup recipe that I love to make as it starts to cool down, even though it has not cooled down here, but that's okay, we're gonna pretend that it is fall. And that is my favorite vegetable soup. To make, you're just going to saute some onions, celery, and some fresh garlic get that all nice and cooked down and translucent you're gonna add four cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth whichever one you want to add a big can of diced tomatoes or you could do fresh tomatoes and then two cups of either tomatoes juice or I like to use the V8 juice and then you're just going to add whatever kind of vegetable you want to add I'm adding potatoes carrots okra, some frozen corn, green beans, and peas. But like I said, you can use whatever kind of vegetables you want. And then I usually just simmer this for 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. And then I also made some, oh wait, first of all, put your salt and pepper in there as well. Season your soup. But then I also made some homemade cornbread and I didn't get to film the whole recipe, but I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys. I made some regular cornbread and then I personally love to put jalapenos in mine. It's so yummy and I, like I said, this is like the perfect, perfect fall meal and when it starts to cool down, I'll also leave the recipe for the soup down below as well. I need 20 boxes of magic erasers for this whole house. We go through them though. What do you think, little buddy? Huh? What do you think, little buddy? Oh, oh, oh. So I know this is primarily a fall decorate with me video. Well, actually, no, it's like a fall decorate and clean with me. So there is quite a bit of cleaning in this video as well. But one thing I definitely needed to do and I've been needing to do is cleaning our doors. I think that's probably out of everything, minus the floors, of course, but out of everything in the house, that's definitely what gets dirty the most just because the kids are constantly touching the floor doors and the cabinets and coming in inside in and out all the time and dirty sticky hands so uh, like I said the dry erase marker I'm telling you guys is key of course I'll wipe down all the doors as well but what really works to get off like those tough sticky stuff you guys know what I'm talking about that you can never get off and you have to end up wiping like 50 times you can just easily get off with a magic eraser and I used about three <laughs> three different magic erasers on all of our doors in our pantry our pantry walls definitely get it the most just because that's where all the food is the kids are constantly in and out of the pantry all day I do want to say that my one regret that I have when we decided on a paint for our house it's not even the paint color it's the finish of the paint. I so wish that we did not go with a flat paint. I think we just did it because it was the cheapest option, but I wish we would have gotten like a semi-gloss, something that was easier to wipe down because anything and everything that gets on the paint, because it's so flat, it just soaks right in and it's so hard to clean. So biggest advice is go with that satin finish, go with the semi-gloss. It's so much easier to clean than flat paint. No, that ain't nobody like that ain't nobody like So lucky to be yours So I am just taking all of the summer decorations down. Actually, when I was taking down this wreath, I saw that some spider must be living in it. I was okay with the spider webs until I saw its little tunnel to its house. And as soon as I saw that, I'm not gonna lie, because I hate spiders, I ended up chucking it outside before putting it away. But I went ahead, like I said, took all the summer decorations down and put them in their storage box. Oh, and another thing I wish I would have showed you guys the before of my office because it was horrendous. Like, I, 
I think that's why I didn't show the before because it was so bad. So I ended up putting everything away that I had laid. I just kind of throw things there all the time or hide things back in the office. But ended up putting all of that away, organizing it, wiping it down. And it just, it looks 10 times better now. I think because this is my work area, my workspace. I have a lot of the kids stuff over here, bills and just extra stuff in the cabinets like office supplies and all my electronics and everything. It just it gets very crowded and overwhelming having all of that stuff over there but I definitely wanted to show you guys we haven't even gotten into the decorating yet but I wanted to show you guys how I go about cleaning our slate fireplace this thing has been pretty dirty lately and it's been a while since I've cleaned it with our slate cleaner I showed you guys the name of it in the beginning and we also if you guys remember from our living room project or makeover we got like glue and random stuff on the fireplace so that's little spots that you guys see those will not come up but this cleaner does work really well and making it look new and not as dull it makes it look a little bit more shiny well it's like shiny as slate can get that is uh, so I definitely would recommend if you guys do have a slate fireplace checking out that cleaner it works pretty well it just takes a little bit of time and elbow grease let me show you what a good time looks like you can't do better so much better So I do want to mention really quickly that I so well I should say so far so far this year I haven't got any new fall decorations this is all from last year so I don't know if you will still be able to find them if I can try to link them I will in the description down below but I know Target that's where majority of my decorations are from Target changes their out their decorations sometimes they'll bring some new things or they'll still have stuff on their website so I try or I'll try to link that as much as I can but I know that they switch things around so much uh, so you guys already know my decorating style if you have been a long time viewer I am very simplistic when it comes to my fall decorations I I know this is gonna be a fall decorating video but you guys will see I like am super minimal when it comes to decorating. I think a majority of where I like to decorate the most is of course the living room in the dining room. But even though I am very minimalistic when it comes to decorating, even after I was done decorating, I was like, you know what? I think I want to get more fall decorations. I don't know. I want to get, I feel like my house needs more of something. I don't know maybe it's more color maybe it's more things on the wall I don't know you guys can give me some advice down below but I'm just wanting to add more I just don't know what what I need <laughs> definitely not throw pillows though Okay, you guys will definitely have to let me know if you do this while you're decorating, but I try to get all of my decorations out and then I end up just moving them around to 10 different places until I find the place, like the place that I'm like, okay, this looks really good right here. Let me know if you guys do that because I swear it took me all day just to put out like my 10 fall decorations because I just moved them around so much and was so indecisive. And I forgot to mention that I know I said that I mainly focus on the living room and the dining room, but I do like to add a few things to our bedroom as well. So I just added some extra throw pillows. I know it's not much. Like I said, I'm very simplistic. I'll add some more, you know, 
know, fall decorations on our dresser. And you guys will have to let me know, how do you get like those throw blankets to look really good on a bed? I swear I tried to put this blanket, you guys will see here in a minute. I tried to put this blanket on the bed for like 10 minutes trying to get it to throw or look like a throw blanket and it just looks sloppy to me. I don't know, maybe that's how it's supposed to look. So let me know how I go about doing them because I always see people doing them and also putting it on couches and I'm like, okay, when I try to do that, it just looks ridiculous. But the next thing that I wanted to do was wipe down all the cabinets. I know I mentioned before that our doors throughout the house get really, really dirty as well as our floors, but also our cabinets. So I'm just disinfecting all of our cabinets, especially with the kids being in school now, because as soon as they get home, they're, you know, going and getting snacks and getting bowls out and this and that. So um, I haven't wiped down our cabinets in a while. And you know, there's food that's always getting on them and the kids dropping stuff and it's splashing all over the cabinets. You guys don't don't ask how I keep my white cabinets so white. I feel like you just can't really tell unless I'm super zoomed up on them. Um, but I guess a little bit of a secret is the magic erasers because I use it or use them for everything. Um, but I also wanted to do like a deep clean and a steam mop to our wood floors. And I, of course, am using my Bissell steam mop. I show it all the time in my cleaning videos. You guys know I love it. Um, but I've been meaning to get the little scented disc off of Amazon for a while now you can just slip them into the bottom of the mop or the cover and I was just thinking today they need to come out with some fall scents in those and some Christmas scents like some fresh balsam or like pumpkin Bissell if you're listening to me right now please come out with more of those scented discs but do like holiday scents because as much as I love the spring one that I was using I would love to just steam mop i would be steam mopping my house every single day if they came out with some fall and some christmas scents So I do have to give a huge shout out to Frank for getting these awesome up close steam mop action <laughs> shots. Usually I just try to film it myself or I'll just show you guys a time lapse, but he helped me with some of the filming in this video. So let's give Frank a huge thank you for those shots. I don't know what it is about watching people do like vacuuming or steam mopping, but it is the most satisfying thing to watch. Like not only does it feel satisfying as I'm steam mopping in real life, but as I go back and I watch these videos and go back and edit, I'm like, oh, that is, the, that is why I do these videos because just that alone, if I see somebody else doing that or vacuuming, I instantly want to start vacuuming or steam mopping. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that's just like my inner clean freak coming out. guys so that is or we're, I guess just to say we're getting towards the end of the video I'm just showing you guys some b-roll of how some of my fall decorations turned out I know I showed you guys probably a little bit more cleaning than I did decorating that's because I only did a little bit of decorating but now I'm tempted to go get some more decorations but I just love like the little subtle fall decor and colors throughout the house but my question is, have you started decorating for fall yet? Do you think it's too soon? Have you been done with it? Let me know. I just realized it's getting towards the end of August, which usually I try to make it towards September before I start decorating. But this year, 
I think just trying to go ahead and get it done was like my motive. So I did it a little bit earlier. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gave you guys some decorating inspiration and some cleaning motivation. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.